What's up, everybody? Time got back here again. Yeah, it's Friday the thirteenth. Taking little Mr. Oscar for a walk. They say today's bad luck. Well, I got some information for your situation. The title of this video is "Flush the Toilet." Get rid of human shit. You might be asking, what do you mean by that? It's very simple. Most people now, right now, they got some kind of form, some kind of way to handle a bad situation, handle a disaster, name the disaster, don't matter. They got supplies, they got an idea, skills, something. If somebody's too lazy now, well, they ain't got no supplies or no plan. You got to flush the toilet. You got to be picky. It is better to be a lone wolf or just have you and your family or whatever than to have somebody that's going to bring you down. The Bible says if you don't work, you don't eat. If you don't work, you don't even get on my table. We cannot be taking care of people that are going to be a liability. We can't take care of people that are going to not do anything not do any work while you're out busting your butt and then you have to have them sit at your table and eat in a disaster when they did absolutely nothing contributed nothing don't want to learn nothing see I'm fine with people that don't have a lot that's okay as long as you got something I don't care if you got skills or not if you're willing to learn them you're willing to put in the work, you got a seat at my table. It's that simple. All it is is you got to flush the toilet. It's better to be a lone wolf than to be around people that will not do anything and will bring you down. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we need people to do shit work. But you don't need shit people to do shit work. Quality over quantity. It is better to have nobody than to have somebody that is going to just unravel everything. It's like a rotten fruit on a rotten tree. Can you eat rotten fruit? So why would you have rotten fruit on your team? That's the question. Why? Now look, it's just a motivation today. Keep your shit right. Don't at all let rotten fruit, don't eat rotten fruit. Don't let it in your life. Don't let it anywhere. If somebody's not worth the skin they're printed on, fuck them. You don't need them. Don't let anybody dictate how you do things. Don't compromise yourself. You don't have to be a leader. You really don't. It doesn't matter if you're a leader. But you got to wear the skin and meat bag of your body. So you decide what works for you. And if something don't feel right, go with your gut. It is better just to be on your own. Flush the toilet. The human shit's got to go down the sewer. You can't change anybody, like I said. If they ain't willing to put in work, you know what? As the Bible said, let he who has ears to hear and eyes to see. And if by now, after the past three years, people can't see people don't want to hear well how's that your problem come on ask how's that your issue right going up to the store again I go to the store every morning that's another thing that ticks me off are people that say I don't have money to prep or I don't have this and I don't have that you got a phone in your pocket you have the world in your pocket there's ways to make money out here, working from home, working from your phone. I've done it, so I know. This guy's going to try and run me over, prick. Anyway, um, you have ways to make money. You have ways to get anything done. This is the whole world in your pocket. You don't want to. If you're too lazy and you got excuses, guess what? You're to blame. Don't bring others down. You don't want these people around. And if they are, I don't care if they're friends, family, whatever. You got to let it be known. Hey, if something bad happens, 
you better find someone else. Because honestly, I don't want to take care of people that can't take care of themselves. And I don't mean that they can't take care of themselves like in a way, conventional way. I mean, they can't do fuck all for fuck shit, you know? Nobody wants to deal with those people. They're parasites. They live for something for what they can get. They always want somebody to give them a handout instead of a hand up. They don't do nothing with their lives. They don't do anything at all. They got too much free time. And when you got free, too much free time, they say the devil's... Whatever the fuck saying is. The devil, idle hands are the devil's playground or some shit. Well, you know what? Those people suck. They ain't worth shit. So, as far as information for your situation and mine, I suggest flush the toilet. You take out your trash when your can's full, right? You flush the toilet after the bathroom, right? Flush the toilet on lazy losers. They got nothing. They don't bring nothing to the table. Don't let them eat at yours. In a bad situation, what can you do, right? Now you're taking care of someone that didn't do shit. How's that fair to you? You put in the time. You put in the work. You're not going to do it. I suggest you don't do it either. Such a waste. Everybody can do something. If they don't, that's a personal choice. But you know what? A personal choice, that's something that you got to do too. You personally have to say, you know what? I'm not doing it. And you got to stick by it. And so do I. All right, guys, I love you. Already people pissing me off out here. They're moron shit. Say hi to Oscar again. Yeah, little man loves going for a walk. I'm going to get him a little can of wet dog food. Just because. All right, I love you guys. Talk to you later.